Well, this weekend at the BBC, Monster Trucks going to take over the Probst Arena. It's the show you don't want to miss. And here to prove it to you is driver Tony. Joining me now, Tony, we are so pumped. Again, Monster Jam getting ready to take over the BBC. First, I, I just want to take a moment to kind of hear your life story, so to speak. I mean, you're a monster truck driver. Is this something you always wanted to do? How did you get into this world? It just, uh, I just kind of fell into it. It's kind of weird. It's a very long story. Oh, so it, well, we got TV time of like right. 90 seconds. Okay. So what you got. So I was in the Army. Okay. I was stationed in El Paso, in Fort Bliss in El Paso, Texas. Uh, I was a helicopter crew chief, Apache helicopters. Wow. And I met my now wife. She was my girlfriend then. She was a motorcycle stunt woman. Oh, Hi, my goodness. She had already been uh, working for Feld Entertainment, who owns Monster Jam. So my ETS came up in the Army. It was time for me to get out, and I just followed her. I was their motorcycle mechanic, uh, a stunt motorcycle fleet mechanic yes. for uh, a year and a half or so, and then started talking to the right people at Monster Jam. We started driving. Uh, we developed the Black Ops Monster Truck. It was a military tribute truck. I drove that for seven years, and then uh, I've been driving Thunder Roarus, the new Thunder bright, Roarus. vibrant truck for, for two years, yeah. and I'm here filling in for my buddy Cody Saucier and the wonderful Dragon Dragon car. Fire. So let's chat about these cars, Tony, because these are very, I mean, they're decked out and they're fun. I mean, you got a Scooby-Doo one. You know, this one looks like a shark. Tell me about how these are. I mean, these are vehicles we want to stress, but again, they're, they're all decked out in kind of cool ways. These are Monster Jam trucks. I mean, they're huge. They're crazy. Can you imagine? Can you imagine a 12,000 pound truck flying 30 feet through the air? No. You're talking 540 cubic inch, 1500 horsepower engine, supercharged, methanol, alcohol, fire breathing dragon. Fire. I mean, the tires are five and a half foot tall. That's two inches taller than the average. Wait, American I can't ball. even picture a tire five and a half feet tall. Yeah. That's insane. Tony, do you get scared doing this ever? Uh, you can, you can share only when I found, find myself a little bit higher than I anticipated. Yeah. Or I get myself into a crazy situation. Uh, you know, you don't know how you're going to land. That's when it gets scary. But yeah. other than that, no, it's not scary. It's, it's a whole lot of fun is what it is. Yeah, very much so. And we're seeing people loving it out there. What are those moments like crowd, I mean, the stadium's just packed. Also, we want, we want to chat. This is a competition. Yes. What exactly does that? I mean, you guys are competing for a championship. Right, we are. Uh, so we start with uh, racing. There's four competitions in the event. We start with racing is head to head, uh, which is self-explanatory. Whoever wins, wins. Uh, and then the rest of the three competitions are judged by the fans. On judgeszone.com, they have a little scale from zero to 10. Okay. They move a little monster truck tire up and down. And we do two wheel skills competition, a donut competition. That's when we, you know, everybody loves a good donut. And then freestyle. That's what everybody wants to come see at Monster Jam. They expect that's where we destroy the truck and just huge air backflips you name it, it it just gets crazy wait that is crazy. what is practice like for this tony i mean are you con you coming up with new tricks every so often and like testing them out practice is like ojt on the job training <laughs> uh, yeah. we, we get a little uh rehearsal time to shake down the uh the monster jam truck at the beginning of the week we do like two laps that's it make sure the truck is operating good but the trucks are, are so expensive to operate that we just are our events are our practice. So uh, I'd like to say it takes a good three years to make a well-rounded driver, okay. you know, but all that seat time and experience in the event, and that's, then you're on. that's what makes that's it. showbiz. And again, these stadiums are packed. We do want to stress, you can be there at the BBC. Is your wife still coming to them? Is she in the industry still too? At motorcycles? Uh, she's at home with the girls, but she'll be there next weekend in Charlotte, Amazing. North Carolina. Oh, hey, that's my hometown. Well, y'all enjoy Charlotte very much so. Again, guys, Monster Jam roaring into the BBC this weekend. Get your tickets at vonbronsoner.com and we'll have that link on our website as well. Tony, my friend, have fun. Stay safe this weekend, but welcome to Rocket Always. City. Excited to have you.